Hey guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After and behind me I have a quick grocery haul. Today is September 25th and I wanted to share with you guys this week's grocery haul cost me $52.71. So ever since I've been doing intermittent fasting, my husband has also started doing it as well. So if you take out like basically two adults eating you know, three full meals a day plus snacks and all of that stuff, you can just kind of like see how your grocery budget would automatically drastically drop. So I am really loving this intermittent fasting lifestyle because it totally fits the brand, building your dream life, the body that you love, while on a budget that you can afford. So yes, I'm gonna show you guys what I bought from the store. And I do wanna add that from Winn-Dixie, I did have, I did have $27.70 worth of um, like free groceries with them. But hypothetically speaking, even if I had to pay that, the total grocery bill would have been $80.41, which I still think is pretty good to have your groceries under $100 in today's time for a full week. So yeah, $52.71 is what I paid. I'm gonna show you what I got and what I plan to do with it. Okay, so all all right, so all of this came from Aldi. We've got some spinach, which I'll be using for salads, as well as in this like egg bake that I'm planning to make. Tater tots because your girl loves her potatoes like almost every day. Um, and this will also go into my salads. This will go into salads and the egg bake. I got two packs of those. Some taco seasoning for the egg bake. I made it before on the channel, but I'll just put in a little quick thing here at the end of this video too just to show you guys again if you like we've got mushroom we've got some grape tomatoes and mozzarella cheese which I'll be making um, this little thing this little salad with this and the cucumbers over there and balsamic vinegar I can show you that as well and then some pineapples and watermelon we talked about the peppers and also some cheese so all of this came from Aldi and we paid $29.80 for this. And then let's move over here. This is from Winn-Dixie. And we've got some chicken thighs that cost $11.08. And I'll be making some curry chicken with these. And then we have some um, grass-fed beef, which I will be putting inside of the egg bake. And then some cheese. I got this because I like closing my window out with like cheese, like a fat of some sort, um, fat protein mix. Um, and then the cucumbers for the salad I talked about. And then the peppers for the um, curry chicken as well as the salads for the week. And then more coffee, just some organic K cups, hot sauce. And then we needed more um, of the cascade tablets and then toilet paper so honestly like if we took this out and this out like those were a huge chunk you know like if we just only focus on the food it would be even less but i include all household stuff into the grocery budget as well so all of this costs fifty dollars and sixty one cents this haul here and the toilet paper itself was like i don't know 10 49 or so um, yeah, and then I had, like I mentioned, $27 off, $27.70 off. So I walked out of Winn-Dixie paying $22.91 and the grand total, and again, the grand total for the week being $52.71. Ah! So excited. I love saving money and I have not yet found like I haven't yet reallocated the funds for the grocery budget, but I have been spending them on things for myself because I've been so proud of myself. I'll show you guys here in an upcoming video, maybe next week where I bought myself a new work bag, but eventually I probably need to put that extra money <laughs> towards saving or savings or investing. Um, but yeah, and again, I do want to say I could have used that money to take advantage of stocking up on um, additional items, but you guys know I'm here and I live here in Florida and it is currently September 25th and there is a tropical storm that is brewing and it could become a hurricane and head our way and I just don't want for the power to go out and then we lose a lot of our food, you know, I know I, it's a, it's a catch 22 because either you prepare and like stock up and have everything that you need 
or you i don't know i feel like i'm doing what's best for our family so yeah that's it and like i said don't go yet i'll show you guys real quickly um it won't be like a long meal prep but i'll just show you guys real quickly what i plan to do with this food so stay tuned if you like to see that hey guys it's me again so i went to the store like around noon today i checked out at 12 12 and it is now 5 52 i've gotten a lot done like i've gone through my to-do list and the only thing i have left well i have a few things but I need a meal prep and it's already getting pretty late and I still need to walk six miles and yes yeah, so I'm not going to show all the details of today's meal prep I apologize but I will show like the main aspects of it and I'm sure you guys will understand but I'll be sure to do another meal prep and start a lot earlier in the day so my apologies but now let's do it So what I didn't show was that I strained this and then I'll also do some persimmon with this so that there's not too much oil or, mo or moisture in the egg bake. Alright guys, so I'm about to make like the most lazy, laziest version of curry chicken ever. What I do is I just take the chicken thighs, toss them in the pan, well in the pot, and then I use two cans of diced tomatoes. And then I also put in some onion and peppers and curry and like salt, pepper, garlic, all of that stuff, cumin, whatever you have, honestly. And then you just toss everything and then you put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate overnight a little bit of oil like olive oil or whatever you have and let it marinate overnight and then you cook it the next day and people swear that you spent all day cooking it <laughs> I'll show you so lots of veggies and the chickens down at the bottom I'm going to put a little bit more curry sauce and then toss all of this and put the lid on it and let it sit overnight and then I'll just cook the stew tomorrow. Alright, just got to put a lid on it. Let's go through. Let me show you guys what all I use. Okay, first of all, I want to say I am not a picky eater. Um, but I use two cans, as I mentioned, of the diced tomatoes, black pepper, garlic, um, some Jamaican curry powder, olive oil, some cumin, um, some coriander seeds, um, Himalayan salt, and then this was a mixture of just some um, peppers and celery and some different things from the week. And if you don't have the coriander or cumin that's fine because honestly that's in curry powder like I have turmeric too but I didn't use turmeric because I'm sure there's enough in there and that's it 
So tomorrow I'll just add a little bit of water and stew this for maybe about 45 minutes to an hour and it's gonna be so delicious over some white rice. Yes. All right, and off camera, my husband, thankfully, like chopped up all of my cucumbers and peppers for my salads for the week. So now all I need to do is prep my mason jars with spinach and romaine and then add some of this. And I think I'm almost done. Good morning, guys. It is currently 5.48. It's the next morning. So I just took the... I just took this out of the refrigerator and I'm about to start making the curries. So I want to show you guys the finished product of the egg bake, but apparently I guess he ate some last night. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. Now I can't even take a picture of my thumbnail. <laughs> So I've already added salt and pepper and the balsamic vinegar. You don't have to add as much vinegar as I did. If you don't, then you'll have like a lighter complex um, of the salad, but I love balsamic vinegar, so I drenched it. So you can see the stew is still cooking. I think I have like either eight or 10 chicken pies in there. Currently I have a medium, but I'm going to turn it down a bit more and just let it cook a little bit slower um, because I have some other things to do and I won't be able to watch it. Also, I mentioned that I will cook some white rice for the curry soup, but we still have some black rice um, from last week remaining, so we'll eat this first before I make additional rice. So I'm currently getting ready to break my fast for today after like a little bit over 19 hours. So here is the black rice. Then I'm gonna have some of this. I'm so excited. And of course I'll pop that with hot sauce. And I also have this and probably even like a little bit of pineapple. I don't know. I'll see how I feel after this is done. Usually whenever I usually whenever I'm fasting, I tend to eat like a full course meal. Like I have a salad, I have my main course meal, I have a dessert, which for me is fruit. Um and normally I do and you guys probably remember before I did a lot of like low carb. I don't know if I can even say that I'm still low carb. I guess I try to watch them like I pay attention, but I don't really care. Like I still eat at least like one solid carbohydrate per day. Sometimes that could be rice or um, potatoes or sometimes chips. <laughs> but I don't overdo it if that makes any sense because I've learned that I can still get my body into ketosis even eating carbohydrates. And that's a whole nother discussion for another day. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to sit down and eat. You can see I shot my weigh-in video this morning. But I need to sit down and eat before I head off to work. So hope you enjoyed this grocery haul and this easy meal prep. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!